After we've worked on the backside half, we're going to move the curve balls to the inner third of the plate and we're going to work on trying to get that bat head just ahead of the hands and pull balls to the pull half of the field. So we got the cones set up for driving the ball to the pull field and it's yet another challenge of breaking balls. When the ball's in, we want to pull it. When it's away, we want to go back half. When it's in the middle third of the plate, we want to go middle third of the field. The reason our last challenge is pulling the ball is this is probably for a good hitter the most natural thing to do. But to practice it so that in a game if you do get a hanger on the inside third of the plate you, you punish the ball. Um, that's ultimately what we're trying to do with these drills is recognize a hittable pitch and to be able to put the swing on it that actually gets it, gets it on time and on the right at the right height. And even though we're working middle in, every once in a while the machine's not perfect, neither is a human being. If a ball's on the outside third of the plate, hopefully we can put a swing on it that drives it right center. and we want to continue to take balls that we can't hit. If we're in, sometimes, if a guy's consistently throwing us in, we want to actually hunt a pitch that's in the inside half of the plate. We might take the pitch if it's not. When we're in a hitter's count, uh, the advantage of being in a 2-0-3-1 count, or for that matter, an 0-0 count, is we can look for exactly what we want, and if we get it, we pounce, and if we don't, we take it and it doesn't hurt us. <laughs> That's a couple pretty good ones. <laughs> 